I just we need know. to get a, a cro- is it cro profile co profile oh, the people who no. are into poo. We need yeah. to get one of those guys on the show. I'd love to. Them I would rather or get like one a of... hardcore furry something something out there. Some, some Although furry's not person. nearly as out there as eating poop. No, nothing. You really know who is. I'd like to have? Um, the guy who does the MRE reviews. Who yeah. eats that ancient food from World War II and smokes them? And he seems like he's real buff too. Like, like he seems like he he could definitely do some fitness talk with this dude. Like, whenever he's like smoking a cigarette, you're like, God damn, Popeye! He just real ripped up. Seems like an odd but interesting like hobby that he, or I guess job. He gets millions of views that he has there. That's a really cool. It'd be awesome to be that into like such a niche little thing, and yeah. then have that thing that you're autistically obsessed with become your job. Yeah, because Blade, you know that there's Blade never did that a day. With alcohol. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you know, but it's safer, I think, to eat these ninety-year-old pieces of meat than you know guzzle a liter of Jaeger a day or whatever. But it must be awesome to be like he's got somebody who has a channel about that has a touch of the tism, and that's fine. Everybody's got a touch, but every day, like I'm envious that never is he waking up and being like. <sighs> I got to do that Korean War breakfast today. Every day he's like, oh boy. <laughs> head pops off the pillow. Do I do Korean breakfast? Oh no, I don't want to spoil that one. I'm excited. Oh, I've, got a, I've got a Civil War soap kit. I wonder what soap tastes like. <laughs> that, would be, that would be such a great yeah, game. He gets that guy's living weird, the dream. He gets those odd and very obscure MREs and rations from not just through time, but also from around the world. He'll have the Yugoslavian <laughs> kit from 1987, and then he'll have the the modern day Swedish kit. And some of them are like very nice. Like the French kit has like uh, all sorts of nice stuff in it. I don't know, like fruit spreads and these fancy crackers and uh, couscous. And um, what's the other thing? Um, uh, the pate. Uh, yeah. 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 I, I like to see him on like, you know, a Tinder date. Like, what? Babe, no, that had peanut butter and saltines. I got you the good shit, woman. Where are you, like, where are you going? <laughs> oh, thank you so much for bringing me to P.F. Chang's. He's like, no problem. I'll be paying for both of us, but only one of us is going to order. This is a Civil War ration kit from 1864. <laughs> now, you're going to notice a smell when you open it up. <laughs> what that is, is rancid meat. <laughs> <laughs> he starts he rolling a cigarette. Here, right? <laughs> well don't leave all right i'll eat your mongolian beef fuck you <laughs> like, yeah, the civil war one was the coolest one i saw because it was just yeah, so hard tack cool. yeah it was yeah. hard tack and, and he ate it i, I think Do you um, like it yeah he ate no. something from 1860 yeah which is wow you know over 50 years ago <laughs> The math checks Literally. out. Yeah, just, <laughs> dozens of years ago. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking today, so to me, the 1980s is a while ago, but not impossibly long ago. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But in the 1980s, that was the 40s. That was World War II to what we are now. Like 2020 is to 1980 as 1980 is to the 1940. Sure. And it's pretty crazy. It it just seems like wow, like because now it feels like World War II was, you know, it's eighty years ago. That that's so I mean, seventy five, but yeah, you know, like, it's a whole other lifetime. Pretty the, much the, everybody's dead at this point. Everyone's Most of them dead. Uh, like the the position of the countries in like the global hierarchy from seventy five years ago is hardly relevant today. Yeah, and even the people that are alive from then, it's like, well, I was two. When Hitler killed himself, and it's like, well, then were you really there? Really? Right. You know? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think so. Uh, are, any other? Did. So did Taylor answer the Christmas present that really, or present that really met expectations? N64 oh, was a really big right. one. And then every so often I would get new hockey stuff, and that was always fun. Did you guys get a Christmas Eve present? No. Uh, a lot of oh, times yeah. we oh, get so okay. impatient, we just open everything on Christmas Eve. So our tradition oh. was we had a dinner at Christmas Eve, and all the family members would come over, and I would get their gifts. So like oh. the gifts that came from my aunt and my uncle and my grandparents and stuff like that, you would receive those on Christmas Eve. And it was, you know, smaller stuff, obviously. It's your aunt's giving yeah. you something that's $40 probably or $20. And my, 
my grandma, one of them would just always give me cash. And she'd be like, don't tell your daddy I gave you this. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> oh, I'd rat her out every time. And he would slap the piss out of her. I've told yeah. you about your fixed income woman. You come to me begging for gas. <laughs> <laughs> you gave God, my she boy frail, $7 she... in singles. <laughs> <laughs> she was frail looking, but man, could she take a walloping. We opened uh, <laughs> one gift on Christmas Eve. So we didn't have other family. It was just us. And... Uh, the rules change. Sometimes we go under the tree and pick it out ourselves. But the you know, whatever you really wanted that year wasn't there on Christmas Eve. My mom would make sure that we didn't ruin Christmas. Yeah, that's Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So, and then it, sometimes she'd pick a present for us. We couldn't sleep all Christmas Eve. And one time she got a stomper four by fours. I bet you guys don't know what that is, but I'll provide a link. It's a tiny little car that runs on a battery and just goes, it runs over everything. And it was like a huge winning. It, I think we ran out of batteries because we'd stay up all Christmas Eve. We couldn't sleep. Next day was Christmas for heaven's sakes. And mm -hmm. having a toy that helped you get through Christmas was, uh, it was a huge win. I don't know why I brought that up, but I was stuck on it. I was like, yeah, yeah. that it was it's probably nice inexpensive memory. and uh, all four wheels went and it would go over anything. Yeah, yeah, Christmas <laughs> anything <laughs> that's very small and easy yeah, to right. go over. Not a sneaker or anything great. <laughs> 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 well, it's not going to go over shag carpeting. <laughs> <laughs> but a crown, yeah, it'll do that. <laughs> it thrives on hardwood you know, and sloped down surfaces. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, anyway, it, it, I think I had fun Christmas Eve. And normally that night is just a... a Exercise and torture to get to the morning. Yeah. Yeah, I always had good Christmases. The Christmas was a huge deal as a kid, obviously. I always liked those remote control cars. I would try to get one of those almost every year. Um, but I, I wanted, like, I remember I had one that, like, the wheels were bigger than the body of it. It was, like, two huge wheels in the front and small wheels in the back, almost hmm. like a backwards tricycle. And uh, it, you could grab, I would grab it and sling it and throw it up on the roof of the house. And it had this thing where, like, it would it would go really fast forward, and then you had a button you could do that would make, and the wheels would like quickly reverse the other way, and the result would be it would jump in the air and do flips. Oh, cool! So I would just like launch it at the peak of the roof and hit that, and it would woof, 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 land on the ground, and it was always okay. It was cool as shit. Yeah, that's a durable toy. It was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it was mostly tires. It was like 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 the tires were so big that nothing else could really. I think like I the know body what couldn't. you're talking about. Yeah, it I was have a vague like memory like of a, it. There was no pretend part of the car. It was just like the flat quote unquote chassis, and then the enormous rubbery wheels. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. I never got one. I don't think. Yeah. yeah. No. It, we had a Christmas. I, I had a remote control car called a Firefox, and it was good. Like it was expensive. It was eighty dollars at a time, and like and when eighty dollars was maybe call that. 400 now or something mm -hmm. and god darn that thing was junk junk i <laughs> loved it and it broke in minutes and then we went to the store exchanged it broke again 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 we must have gone through four of them before we were just like this toy is more <laughs> yeah. disappointment than fun yeah that's always disappointing <laughs> yeah our thing was like we because my grandparents lived hours south of us like we would go down there on either like the, the 23rd or like really early on the 24th. And we would wake up on the 24th and open everything. So Christmas Eve, open everything for my grandparents on, on that side of the family. And then, you know, that evening or early Christmas morning, drive back to St. Louis and go to the other side of the family shit and get those presents. But my, my grandma was always the one providing the, the high class presents. And so it was, it was the opposite of what I guess, you and Kyle are describing where we would go down there, blow our wad over like, Oh, 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 all this shit. And then we'd have to like go and be like, all right, now you have to go to the other side of the families and uh, you can't bring your toys in there because you have to socialize and that's rude. And it'd be like, God, this fucking sucks. I just, I just want to go play with my toys. Mm. I just want 